Adding your Facebook page to an app is a really simple process, but there's one little catch with the URL that we're going to want to talk about. So let's go ahead and click on our Facebook button. Now we've already got everything set up for this. We've got our current page as Facebook, our page type is Facebook, and our page title is Facebook. Now the last thing we need to do to get this up and running is to add our Facebook wall URL. And that's easy enough to do. You just go to your Facebook page and you highlight and copy your URL. We'll go back here and we'll paste that in the box. Great, so we've got our Facebook page here, but since we're creating a mobile app, we want to make sure that everything that we can is optimized for mobile devices. An iBuild app actually gives you a, a great little reminder down here, and it says essentially, you want to make your Facebook page mobile compatible. And you may have noticed already, but when I entered the URL, that little touch word was not actually in my URL. It's facebook.com slash Android app training. And when I put it in here, it's touch.facebook slash Android app training. And so you didn't even know that you needed to optimize for mobile and they actually just do it for you. Alternatively, you can actually take out the touch and use an m.facebook.com. And that's also a mobile version of Facebook. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it as touch.facebook.com. They both seem to work just fine, but I've never had any problems with this type of URL, so that's what I'm going to use. Now let's click Save and Complete. Click OK. And since this is an emulated version of the Facebook page, you're not really going to have any of the functionality that you would. You want to test this on your phone before you release to market. For example, if I go to the wall page, it's going to say, hey, it's not found. But, you know, again, this is an emulator, so that's to be expected, right?